This is Crystal Fend. I'm here at the American Society of Clinical Oncology meeting in Chicago where I'm talking with Dr. Ming Zhao about a study he presented here on the use of a 15 gene set of tests to predict which patients may benefit which lung cancer patients may benefit from chemotherapy. So Dr. Zhao, what kind of um, clinical benefit do you think that this would have if validated? Uh, so uh, right now the uh, lung, early stage lung cancer patients uh, and uh, there is uh, evidence that at least stage 2 they benefit from adjuvant chemotherapy but it's clearly that not all uh, stage 2 uh, patients benefit and maybe some stage 1 patient could benefit but they're not getting chemotherapy because there's no strong evidence that they would at this time but the molecular uh, gene signature that we have sort of identified uh, potentially when it's validated and uh, could develop into a clinical test, uh, maybe uh, it will be able to uh, identify uh, those stage 1 and 2 patients uh, who really have a, a poor survival outcome, predicted to be, have poor survival outcome, and will benefit from uh, adjuvant chemotherapy. So it will be better than the current sort of uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, method which is based on stage alone uh, because this signature actually works in uh, uh, sort of uh, identifying poor prognostic patients in both stage 1 and stage 2 patients and and of course uh, there are probably patients who are identified by the signature not going to be also uh, who have uh, identified by a signature as good prognosis who will unlikely benefit from chemotherapy so they can be spared from the uh, you know this rather toxic uh, uh, treatment and uh, so I think it's a uh, it will be a uh, so I think we can basically uh, uh, select better uh, patient who will benefit from chemotherapy after their surgical resection of the early stage lung cancer patients uh, better than what we have now do you see this as becoming more important, selecting out which patients may need therapy as um, there are, there's more talk about uh, screening for patients with lung cancer may um, increase the number of patients with early stage cancer? Yes, uh, potentially because uh, some of those early uh, screen detector patients, uh, uh, lung cancer patients, uh, they have sort of a, a different biology. Uh, some of them will do, will have a very aggressive tumor, some of them will have less aggressive tumor. Uh, this signature potentially could sort of uh, uh, refine uh, who are those which have aggressive tumor, which, who have a less aggressive tumor. Uh, yeah. So how do you see this test, um, if validated, being integrated into practice? Is this something that um, is available with current technology or would this need to be sort of its own set assay? Uh, the technology to assay is available currently but it has to be packaged uh, in a sort of a, uh, a clinical test. I think it has to be, the tests still have to be developed basically. Yeah. Well thank you Dr. Zhao. I'm Crystal Fenn, MedPage Today.